The holiday season is among us, and to those of you who are new to the Pikmin community, we do this little thing called Pikmas. Basically, it's that time of the year where the Pikmin community comes together and just produces any form of Pikmin content, ranging from animations to videos, digital art, physical art, or whatever else you can think of. So for Pikmas, I'll be hosting a community challenge where you can submit your Pikmas content for a chance to win nothing. Kind of. If I like your creation, you'll be featured in a compilation style video. This can be an animation, physical drawing, digital art, even a theory if you want. It just has to involve Pikmin, and if it's Christmas related, you'll probably get bonus points too. In exactly 12 days from now, on December 16th, I'll make a video showcasing the best of the best creations. But listen to this part very carefully because it's the part that matters the most. If you want to enter, you must post your content to YouTube. It's the only platform I'm active on. Not Twitter, not Discord, not Reddit, just YouTube. And you have to tag me using my YouTube handle, at Raggins. And just in case it gets lost for some reason, use the hashtag RagginsPickmas. Also, I totally forgot to mention, if you're posting an image, you can still use YouTube. Just hit this little create icon up here, go to create a post, add your image and tag me somewhere within this post. It's a pretty straightforward challenge. Post the art to YouTube, tag me in the description and I'll exploit it for views. So if you're an artist, animator, content creator, or whatever else, best of luck. Unfortunately, not everyone has the resources or skill to make this kind of content, but I still want to see everyone involved. So even if you lack any form of creativity whatsoever, I got a tool for you. A AI. More specifically, generative AI art. I've had way too much fun with this tool and I think it's a great resource for someone like me who lacks any creative talent to generate whatever their mind imagines. As long as you know how to use a keyboard, you can make things like this. So if you want to learn how to use generative AI, stick around for a minute. If you already know how to use it or don't care, you can click off the video now. Thanks for killing my watch time. Assholes. But back to AI. I use this website called Microsoft Bing. If you're old enough, you'll remember this thing as one of the worst web browsers of its time. But the homies over at Microsoft did a complete overhaul of this platform and turned it into an AI-based software. I'm pretty sure you have to make a Microsoft account, so if you're under the age of 18, get permission from your parents. I do not want to be held accountable for any of this. But once you have your Microsoft account made, find your way to bing.com and look for a big button that says Image Creator. If you really can't find it, the link will be in the description. And if you're on mobile, don't worry, just download the Bing app and click on this button over here. Now that we're all on the same page, let's get to the image creator. You type your words here and get your images here. But AI is kind of stupid. I can't just type Pikmin wearing a Christmas hat because AI doesn't really know what a Pikmin is. You almost have to describe it. So let's try saying bipedal yellow plant creature with big fluffy ears and a leaf coming out of its head, wearing a Christmas hat in a 3D Nintendo rendered style. That's not too bad. I know it's not perfect, but you can just keep trying things out until you find the one you like. Once you have your AI image or whatever it is, post it to YouTube and tag me and you can be entered into the competition. To everyone, whether you're an AI user, an artist, an animator, or whatever, best of luck to you guys. I really can't wait to see what everyone's cooking up. Good luck, everyone.